Yeah, no. Uh, at minus one, Astro Barrage is only a 30... I, there's a two-thirds chance I actually live that at minus one. That's really good to know. All right. Ooh, another Eternatus team. This time, I'm the correct set, so that's good. Um, Yeah, they really, really hate Lele Thievil on lead. They also really hate um, Lando. I think I'm going to do like the exact same thing as last game. Actually, no. Last time, that, that wasn't smart. Do evil Lele. I obviously want Zacian in the back. For the last Mon, though, I'm tempted to go Entei. I really am. I actually think that's not a bad idea, considering... Uh, Yeah, I'm going to go Entei. Entei's a bit safer, mainly because there's an Araquanid and a Mamoswine on this team, so... Lando really doesn't like the matchup. And you only need a little bit of chip on, on Eternus to get the rest of the KO with the Zacian, so... That's always good to keep in mind. I don't need to rely on my Lando to win. <laughs> yeah, Lele takes the Astral Barrage at neutral, just costs 100% of, it of its HP. Like, that's, that's the difference. Just a steeper price. A small price to pay for absolute drip, for absolute sauce with this team. Okay, yeah, I'm very happy with this decision. Hello, nice to meet you. Alright, so my opponent is 1100, so they should be recognizing that I am indeed Scarf Lele, since this is going before their pressure. I am indeed Scarf Lele. So I'm going to go ahead and bank off of them not being irresponsible and doubling into this Incineroar. Please don't be irresponsible at this turn. Please recognize that my Psychic Train went up first. What I need. Rillaboom? Yeah. He's not going to like this. I mean, he obviously could have faked out here, but... Alright, alright, alright. Still get my fake tears off, which is really nice. So he must live in constant fear of that. Um, does he have anything to switch into this, like, realistically speaking? Not really. I should be able to go for the Moonblast here. And, like, safely go into Entei. Actually, I might go into Zacian. Zacian feels fire. Because he should be trying to get out of here. Obviously, he can still fake out me, but I don't think he's going to Flare Blitz. <laughs> jumped out of my, uh, jumped towards my keyboard until I realized that a non-Prankster Mon can fake Tears and Sin. True, true, true. Oh, you're telling me you don't live that? Lele? Is that banded? That could be banded. I feel like I should, I feel like I should be eating that. Let me check something. Lele, are you supposed to eat that? Grassy Glide? Yeah. Um, that's got to be like Bandit or Miracle Seed or something. I'm only supposed to be taking like 78%, and that Flare Blitz did not do 20. I want to say that's Bandit Rillaboom. I want to say Bandit. So that's good info. That's good info. There's the Araquanid. Um, it's going to be really risky. But I can go into Entei here and I can Stone Edge and 
Behemoth Blade, and that should KO a Raccoonid. But it's gonna be it's gonna suck. I need to connect this. I just gotta connect the Stone Edge really, and then Behemoth Blade should do it. Unless they're running a super bulky set. Which, granted, most of Raccoonid are, but it shouldn't take the double. Yep. Uh, I think this still KOs. That's only a... That's that's just neutral. Nente's inner focus, so... Mimith Blade. Please ship it in range. I think this will do it. Nice. Okay, that's great. That's great. They have very little for dealing with Aviente on this team. They have very little. They go into Eternus. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Snarl here. I feel pretty confident going for Snarl. And I could actually try to substitute. Actually, no. They. Nah. I, I should protect here. And the Snarl is going to be really nice. Unburdened Liopard on this team. Um, the reason I wouldn't lose... Uh, the reason I wouldn't use Unburdened Liopard in this in this spot um, is specifically because Unburdened Liopard isn't able to eat hits nearly as well as uh, Thievil is. Thievil actually has some pretty respectable special defense, especially at plus one. Oh, that is a crit. Yikes. I didn't like that. That was a really unfortunate crit. Um, on the bright side, I think if I, no, uh, uh, that was a really annoying crit. That was really bad. Okay, uh, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world, but it's obviously not ideal. Dang it, man. Let me try this. This is really risky. I should have protected. <laughs> I was really hoping they'd double the feeble. I should have protected. That would have been game. Unless they didn't Flare Blitz here, but they definitely did. Man, I really threw right there. I actually had a really solid chance of winning if I didn't do that. Of course, though, that... <laughs> yeah, that Dynamax Cannon crit on my Aviante really messed me up. All right. All right, here we forfeit. Unfortunately, I was. I feel like I was playing that really well. I feel like I was reading my opponent a lot, but it just didn't work out. It was pretty much just that Dynamax cannon that messed me up. Are we still top five hundred? I mean, he was rank one thousand. I was rank four thirty. I'm probably like five hundred twenty. That's now. a low rank. Um, hopefully, if I lose this, I don't think I should lose this as long as I play this right. But <laughs> if I do, I'm gonna lose a lot of points. He really, really hates. Ente, not Ente. He really, really hates Lele Feeble. Moongus as well is pretty annoying for him. And I just go Zacian in the back. Entei's also not that bad. Do I bring Entei over um, Amoongus? The issue with Entei is then the... Um... I'm going to bring Entei. Uh, the issue with Entei... Or not Entei, Lando... Uh, the issue with Lando is if I don't bring a Moongus, it becomes a lot harder to beat Suicune. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do it.
Okay. We can Lando. Cool, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go for as much damage as I can on this on this Suicune as early as possible. Just because it's gonna be really annoying otherwise. And even with like um, a Tailwind up, Thieval outspeeds everything on the field here. So I'm gonna fake tier Psychic. Obviously, I have to be really careful with my, with my Lele. Lele is really important to winning this game, but I think I should take whatever. I think my main concern is, like, a U-turn from Lando wouldn't be enjoyable. But these things are typically special attackers, so if they are running U-turn, it shouldn't be invested. Which means I eat it. So I'm going to say this does, like, 60-70%. Yeah, awesome, awesome. They do have a berry, they do have a berry, but that chip's gonna be huge for Zacian later in the match. That's for later, that's for later. <laughs> they sludge bomb, uh, I should take that. No poison? Ah, they do poison, dang it. It's the tailwind here. Um, I think it's in my best interest to click Snarl and go into my own Landorus. I think they're just gonna go ahead and click Snarl themselves, in fact. Snarl's going to be very useful here. As, uh, even though, you know, Suicune ate that Psychic like a champ, it's still at minus two special defense, so my chip's actually pretty significant. And keeping Scarf Lele around is going to be really important. Like, once this Tailwind's gone, it's going to be, oof, crazy important. Of course, an Icy Wind could be really annoying, but still. Okay, Earth Power, that's fine. I'm gonna eat that like a champ. Connect the Snarl, good damage, good damage. Ooh, that's actually really good damage. That's crazy damage. For a Snarl, that's good. They really don't like this Thievel either. I can protect here, go for another one. Because they should now be going for like a uh, something into my into my Lando. They should be concerned with that. And once this Tailwind's gone, I'm kind of home free. No poison. Awesome. Is that in range of the next one? It's in range of a foul play. I can guarantee that. Actually, is it? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Scald. Cool. Versus Suicune. Picolytic set. I'll play to 16%. Do I go for it? I think I go for it. I think I'm just going to Snarl, actually. I'm gonna snarl, it's safer. I'm taking like nothing anyways. Okay, we do get the KO, that's awesome. And now their Tailwind's gone, which makes this really difficult for them. Well, uh, Intimidate never actually affected the Suicune because of Inner Focus. Yeah, Tailwind's gone now. They're in trouble. Because if Reggio Lucky comes in, I'm, I'm safe. I just snarl on Earth Power. Amoongus? How do I feel about you? I don't have Taunt. I 
I'd rather just get in Lele to deal with this thing, honestly. They definitely have a Turnus in the back. Yeah, Lele should win this game for me. I'm just going to do this. Okay, cool. Spore, who's it into? That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, and I can just stay in with Lando forever. Like, I really don't need this thing anymore. I just keep targeting the Amoongus. Or I can make a big brain play. Nah, that's idiotic. I'm gonna Snarl. Snarl is my safest play. Because if Eternatus comes in, I'm in trouble. Yeah, it does good damage. Got the Sludge Bomb. Landris is asleep. That's fine. Burn your turns asleep. All in Puff? Yo, I don't care. I don't care. I'm still going to take this thing from you. I just keep doing what I'm doing until you're gone. And you know you don't switch any Tyrannus on this. You know you don't switch it in. Oh, please be Eternatus. There he is. There he is. Amazing. Incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. Eternatus takes some chip. Lando, could you kindly wake up? No? That's fine. I don't need you. I mean, I need you, but not right now. I'm just going to keep clicking Snarl and Earth Power, honestly. Actually, I can Sludge Bomb. Nah, I'm gonna... I mean, the Amoongus is 100% within Snarl range. I'll just Earth Power the Eternatus now. There's the Rage Powder. Oh, that's not gonna save you, bud. That's not gonna save you. As long as the Snarl connects, you're done. Yep. Goodbye, Amoongus. Flamethrower, how much is this going to do? Laughable. Absolutely laughable. They might KO themselves on my Thievul. Yeah, no, I just keep clicking Snarl like it's game over. They have so few options of dealing with this. Ernest protects, that's fine. I wonder if I live this hit from Lando, because they should be targeting. I bet you I live. I bet you I live the Earth power. What did I tell you, dude? Broken Pokemon. Absolutely broken Pokemon. Oh, you know what'd be funny? Let me flex on him real quick, because it doesn't matter. I want him to know the power of Thievul. Because Lele comes in and I win regardless, so I'm just going to howl real quick. All right, everyone. Group Howl. Can I get a Thievul in the chat? If you're subbed to the channel, you have a Thievul emote. Okay, everyone. Group Howl. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> biggest flex of my life. Literally the biggest flex of my life. You can forfeit now. No, they didn't forfeit? That's fine.
Look how little this flamethrower is about to do. This is going to do like 30% max. Yeah, not even. Actually, that was about 30%. And now, for my final trick, I will KO this Eternatus with a resisted move. Behold. Oh, okay. Well, I guess the evil gets all the glory. Unless he, you know, KOs the evil. No, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, that was that was pretty solid. That was pretty solid. I think this was a pretty successful day. Uh we'll see what our final let's see what our final rating is at the end of the at the end of the stream real quick. Uh yeah, it's 7 12. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, but let me check out my my rating and then we'll send you guys on a raid to one of our friends' channels who's also streaming BGC. People earn that bottle of zinc. Let's check this out. Ranked battles. I should be like rank six hundred. Ish. Rank 600 ish. Yeah, 662. Nice. Very successful day. I think we climbed from like 2000 or something. Or like 1900. Yeah. Thank you all for coming out today. Let's see who we are rating.